Varicose veins are those large ropey veins that you see on people's legs. The problem is that they have something called vein disease and it's a progressive disease. The disease weakens the valves in the veins by weakening the vein walls and that allows the blood to go backwards through the valves. We call that reflux. That in turn increases the pressure and it blows out the vein walls and you get the varicose veins. They're not always visible. Sometimes they're in the deeper tissues in the legs and you can't see them without the ultrasound. They can be, they can lead to swelling, pain, massive bleeding, blood clots, infections, and ulcers. There's never been any good evidence that crossing your legs will make varicose veins worse. If you have peripheral arterial disease or PAD, it has been shown that crossing your legs can make that worse. Typically with the varicose veins, you'll see that you have the veins in the legs, the, um, the lumpy veins, and you probably have some swelling, you may have the pain and the other signs we talked about. With the PID or arterial disease, oftentimes you'll have pain when you walk that gets better when you rest. It can, uh, pregnancy, uh, to me, it's kind of a miracle that it all works, but basically you have a basketball sitting on the largest vein in your body, the vena cava. That basically stops the blood flow from coming back up from your legs. Plus the pregnancy hormones dilate out all the vessels and that increases the size of the veins, which makes them more prone to becoming varicose. Um, there is um, several things. One is if um, she starts having some leg swelling, which she may have, if it becomes excessive, wearing compression stockings help. Um, avoiding a lot of heat, so don't soak in hot tubs or hot water too long. Definitely don't go in saunas. Those are bad things to do anyway when you're pregnant. Um, walking is good. Try and have some weight control where you don't gain 100 pounds during your pregnancy. All of those things will help. Um, some people are going to get them regardless. For instance, if both of your parents have varicose veins, you have a 90% chance of having them. So um, on Mother's Day and Father's Day, you can thank mom and dad for that one. However, there are things you can do to decrease your risk. One is keeping your weight under control. Wear compression stockings if you're going to be traveling, flying, driving long distances. Don't soak in hot tubs a lot, um, saunas, anything that will dilate out those vessels. Walking is good. Don't stand or sit in one place too long.